Hello again everyone, how are you all and hope you're all well and welcome back to the channel. Um, first of all, before we even get started on this video, I want to say a big massive thank you to every single person who took the time to watch my last video, who shared, subscribed because that is the best video I have ever done views wise, just hands down, by miles. And not only did I go past the 4,000 subscriber mark, but I went past the 5,000 just days later as well. It's it's growth like I've never seen on this channel, to be honest. I'm just a hobby channel. I'm just here to share my love of retro with all of you. And without you, and, uh, just I don't know what to say. There's not much more I can, but thank you. Thank you so much. Um, you might see I have got the gloves on today because we are going to be handling some stuff that uh, a little bit nasty. Uh, as I said before, there was a box of retro that I've still got to fix up. So we'll get to that in a bit. Uh, also, I'm going to keep putting the pictures up here of things that were found in this storage unit and the pictures of it as well. So if you haven't seen already, the storage unit was uh, abandoned from sort of like early 2000s but it was from a shop that was going from the 70s 80s and 90s and it was a video shop a record shop and a game shop with everything in there that this guy just couldn't throw away sadly there was a hole in the roof and a lot of it did get destroyed right underneath it but there was so much more and as i said in the last video we are going back there are rooms we never got to there is things we left behind just because we didn't have the space and we're going to go back and get everything out of there so yeah look out for those um what else have happened oh we had some questions in the last video so i'm going to answer those now uh, no i do not have a uh, patreon no i'm not a, i don't have a discord server this channel's not even monetized just i think that's how it's going to stay because that's not what i'm doing youtube for i'm not doing this for financial gain or to become youtube famous or you know all that kind of stuff just doing it because I love this stuff and saving this and getting it out to the public and to all of you is the right thing to do you know I started this this YouTube channel as a way of helping me with anxiety and lockdown so the fact that it's gone from that to this it's, it's amazing it really is and thank you again to every single one um, what other questions oh where can you where can you buy stuff from well, you can buy stuff from Unit 3 Collectibles. Um, again, I'll put a picture here. Uh, that's his flyer from the shop, and it's got his number on there. He's got a YouTube, um, sorry, Facebook group. Um, and obviously, you can just pop into the shop. It's in Wolverhampton, if you're ever passing. A lot of stock is still there that you can just pick off the shelves. He will post out, so if you ring up and ask if anything's still available, um, or anything you've seen that you'd like, or whatever he's got, give him a call. We're also going to be at... Um, the NEC Toy Fair uh, on the 7th of April, next Sunday, uh, or the Sunday coming, whenever this video goes out. Yes, um, it's next Sunday. Uh, I've never been to a toy fair before, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm going to be there with him, help setting up, and stuff from this find, like the videos, some games, and some other things like that, as well as his own stock of the toys, are all going to be there. So if you're passing, come and say hello. You know, um, it's be interesting to see. So this is stuff the hell get my words out <laughs> you, you can tell i can't script these things can you uh god if i scripted these videos it'd be a hell of a lot fucking worse um but yeah if you can say you can have something from this storage unit so yeah there is that also um the media wise i still sell weekly um i think it's tuesdays and fridays i'm in the shop and i post things up on the pre-cert association facebook group again i'll put a link here uh, and it'll be in the description so if you want to buy any of the videos we still got thousands of videos to go through um and they will all be sold on there uh, that's gavin's group a great guy go and uh, you know go and join the group if we can get him over 600 he's got to go what give away another tape uh that'd be great so yeah go and check him out if you love your videos and everything else I mean, I, I do, uh, just the pre-cert stuff is not really for me. The big box, um, sort of like late 80s, early 90s stuff, that's where I remember um, hiring from the video shop. So I'll be uh, hopefully getting some of those for myself. I know he's got a uh, short circuit too that I need to get. 
And um, before we get on to this stuff that's still to be fixed up, um, some things have already been fixed up, like the Nintendo M82 that was found in the storage unit. Some of you may have seen that the video of Neil fixing that up. And the story behind that is um, Neil contacted me and asked if he could fix it up for free uh, to make a video of. And yeah, fine. Uh, I cleaned it up. I stripped it down. I know my limits of fixing things up though. And that was slightly beyond me. So <laughs> hands up. Yeah, somebody else can take over that one. Um, but when he saw it, I checked the board, everything else. And mostly it was cosmetic apart from the power supply. Then he asked if he could purchase it for the um, for the museum, which is absolutely amazing. So yeah, they sorted out that deal. I stood back, and now the fact that that lives, that came from there, that bird poo covered storage unit has gone through my hands and cleaned up a bit, and is now there in a museum for so many people to play and enjoy. That puts a smile on my face, that does. That is absolutely amazing. Um, I just, there's nothing else I can say. It's just, it's, it's such a nice feeling that no one's there. I did have a friend, um, who used to live in the Wolverhampton area, he's moved now, but he said that he remembers Watchdog. And I said, do you remember a, uh, a Nintendo like demo unit thing there? And he went, yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember going in, it had about like six or seven cartridges in it. And you, you played it, and after a minute, it kicked you off, and, and you had to play again. So, yeah, it's so nice to say that, like, oh, we found it, and it's in this museum, and it's like, it's amazing. Uh, a minute, though. It's, uh, it's a bit tight, in it, really? But then again, do you want kids hanging around all day playing games and not actually buying anything? It's what it is. Um, also, there was, because we had two Commodore PCs, another one of them has gone to Neil as well. I donated that to him, and this had a lot of damage on the board um from the battery leaking over so what's great about that is he's deconstructed deconstructed that's the word i was looking for the board and they've scanned it and now they're going to recreate it so pcb way you'll be able to buy the new boards and put the components back on so not only has that been saved but that's going to be used to save everybody else's that's not working so love that um there's some uh, pc engines are going to different people uh, Mark, Mark fixes stuff, he's getting a few bits, I'll explain as we go along, and hopefully some other people will have some of these stuff as well. Um, I'm going to put a little video in now of things I've still got left to fix up, um, because it's going to take a while, it really is just going to take a while to get through it all, so if you see anything in this lot that you like the look of, let me know, and maybe we can sort something out that you guys can have it and fix it up and do whatever because it's a lot of work here for one person, there really is. So, let's check out that video now.
yes, as you can see from that uh, that little clip there, there's a lot left to fix up, and there's even more actually. To be honest, I forgot to put in that box. There's um, there's a Auric one that needs fixing up as well. There was an Osborne one that's gone to Mark fix his stuff. Uh, hopefully that will be fixed up soon because um, I really want to play that massive, massive lookable PC with a screen about this big, a little black and white screen. Love it so over the top. Um, but yeah, what other things in there? The Amstrads, love the Amstrads. I haven't come across one that was actually broken yet. Um, cosmetically, they look terrible. I mean, that doesn't say that these ones are going to be working, but we'll see. Um, the Amiga Plus, 500 Plus, that was probably broken before it got left in that storage unit with that battery. I haven't opened it up to see if the battery's still on there. <laughs> um, it's just been left where it is. Uh, and what else was there? That that's um, is it Japanese PC? That I can't remember the name of it right now, but it's it's a massive lump. It, this thing is built like a tank. It really is. That thing's not screwed together. It's bolted together. Uh, and there was also the other drive that goes with it as well. So there's two. But I know that the storage unit there was the monitor for it and the disk drive, and they got left behind just purely because of the size of them. This is the issue we've got with this storage unit. Is um. It was great finding all this stuff, but then you also had to pick up what, what feasibly, what could we take with us? Because there were six of these rank stands for the VHS. And since speaking to people afterwards, they're like, oh, I'd have grabbed them, I'd have grabbed them. It's like, yeah, but where would I put them? They're about this tall, this wide, the six of them, <laughs> you know, would have filled up a storage unit on their own. Um, Adam, not only did he have his house filled full of stuff, his garage filled full of stuff, his uh, place of work, if you know what I mean, his shop filled, he also rented out another storage unit to put it in. And it's just, you need to know, okay, we need to stop, it's too much. But now a load of things has been sold. The guy literally just like blocked over the one side and he hasn't touched it, so it's all still there. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna get those rank stands. Don't know what condition they're in, but we're gonna get them. Um, Hopefully, people who want them can pick them up pretty quickly because, uh, again, storage. Um, yeah, there's loads of stuff there. So if you saw anything in that in that video of things you would like to fix up and just help me out, um, please let me know because you'd be doing me a favour. I can't let this stuff go, um, go in the landfill, but I need help. So please let me know if you can help me. Also, this one. This is why I've got the gloves on. And this bag is why I got the gloves off. Um, I would love to see this up and running with a brand new screen, battery mod and caps and all the rest of it. So if any of you guys can help me with this, please let me know. I'll send this to you. You can do a video on it. You can do whatever. And just let me know how much that is because I want to give this to my brother. He loved the Game Gear. I've got him the, the original case. It was like a blue and silver one. And I'd love to present him with this that's come from that unit looking like this to a prized possession. So, yeah, let me know about that one. Uh, in this box as well, when we still got some of the PC engines that were saved and games. Quite a few of this is that really, really manky one. Again, video audio description. Um, but games that sadly didn't fare as well as all the rest of them. Just look at the state of some of these. I mean, look at this game. Absolute classic. Um, but one thing these do have, this whole bag here, is absolutely full of them. Is, it's in there, yeah, look at that. Look how bad that is, right? But the games are still in them. Attached to the manual, you ain't gonna lose the manual. Let's, let's actually peel this one off. And I reckon that will clean up quite well and will work. I really do. The manual. Uh, no, <laughs> that's gone. That's definitely gone. Um, because there are ones in here already that I did fix up. And grab it. Because Ghosts and Goblins came out of a case just like this. And it's fixed up. And it works. There's other games in there like that as well. So I don't want to give up on anything. I really don't. So that's all that stuff. And um, 
there was a lot of standees there in this storage unit. Um, there was a really bad uh, Rambo one um, gutted because you can see it in the distance, but someone chopped his head off. Um, there was a couple of Batman, like big standees of the cars, like the 90s Batman, folded in half, stuck together. But there was some good ones saved. This one may not be one of the best ones, condition wise, but I've saved this for me. Because uh, this bit here, that's not torn. That actually is um, something stuck to it. I reckon this will clean off quite nicely. Um, but if anyone's got any tips of how to flatten this properly, because it's quite a large piece. And it's going to go in this room. I don't know exactly know where this is going to go in the room. But uh, yeah, I'll find some space for it. You might just live down here on the wall. I don't know. Um, but what journey this has been. It's been exhausting, exhilarating, just something so special to be part of. And the fact that I'm now finally able to go through all this and share it all with you guys, um, it's truly special. So yeah, look out for the future videos because there's gonna be quite a few more coming. Um, when the guy is back and has, cause what he's done, is he's put engine blocks in front of the door of the original access to this building. And he needs to move those engine blocks for us to get in to go and get the other stuff. So once we've done the NEC toy fair, obviously we'll speak to the guy as well and get there and hopefully get in and get everything out. I need to get back to that room, that room where nobody went into because there's drawers and there's everything and I'm gonna film. And I'll film and document everything when we go back. So there's so much content for you guys to watch. And you can explore it with me. You know what I mean? Come along on the journey and discover what's in these boxes as we go along. Because that's been a real special thing that has. The not knowing what you're going to find. And sometimes the things that you think really aren't worth that much. Or really aren't that important. Really are. So uh, yeah. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I will see you again next time. It will be the NEC Toy Fair. We're going to do a quick walk around. Um, so join me there and see if you can see any of your toys that you had in the past. Or even videos you used to watch. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again. Bye.